should be ashamed of yourself. At this age, you are still watching pornography. You should be feeling very terrible every time you watch pornography. <laughs> now, when they tell you this as an attempt to help you quit pornography or masturbation, it sounds logical, right? But it doesn't make sense. Why? Because nobody can shame you out of an addiction. You can only educate yourself out of an addiction. You can only reprogram your mind out of an addiction. Because it's not because you don't know it's bad. It's because you lack the ability to help yourself. It's that simple. So telling somebody you should be ashamed of yourself, you need to cry or shut down, feel terrible, so that your addiction can go is a wrong, wrong story. It is counterproductive, like Kai like to say. Look, shame brings anxiety. Anxiety brings distress. Distress brings fear. Fear brings weariness. Weariness brings depression. Depression brings suicidal thoughts. And from there, anything can happen. So shame is not a strategy. I engage people who tell me, I feel terrible in my life. I've tried everything I know. I think I should just end it all. This is what happens when you engage shame as a quitting strategy. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. So it's a band-aid solution that people just tell you as a quick fix. But it's not a lasting solution. Because at the end of the day, you feel shame, you feel terrible. And then maybe for a day or two, you realize that you still go back there. That's exactly the same thing that happens when people watch movies about Hellfire, Evon, and then 24 hours, 48 hours, they are very sober. But what happens next, they've gone again. That's because they were only afraid. They only ashamed of themselves at that point. They didn't really love God. They didn't really love everyone. They are not really motivated and inspired to live a holy life for God. So shame-based motivation cannot bring lasting change to you. So if you have been engaging shame in your process of quitting pornography or masturbation, my dear, stop shaming yourself. Why? Because when you feel better, you will do better. Start educating yourself on the right knowledge of your value system, on the right knowledge of the word of God if you're a believer, and of course the beautiful future you have set ahead of you, which will compel you to begin to live a life of vision, purpose, and transformation. If this video helps you, like, share, and follow for more tips. I'll see you in the next video about the next band aid solution you need to stop using. Catch.